Fastball at 93 to a year. No player in the league has had more at bats. This is lifted out along the right field line. Long run for Varsho. Lane Thomas. The lefty version was out there last night. Yadiel Hernandez. 5 10 local start time. Oh, that had your name on yes, it. Yes, it did. <laughs> An impressive 10 to 1 win last night. They out hit the Nationals 12 to 3. Zach Gallen was outstanding. Carson Kelly wants it down. And Thomas lays off. The get to a good pitcher, you got to get to him early before he settles in and gets the right split between his off speed and fastball. Sneaks that. Jumps on that one, a fastball at 92, but he can't keep it fair. 110 miles an hour off the bat on that foul ball. Soto currently riding a career bet. Launches this one deep to center. It backs up Alec Thomas, who's got room. On Washington second. Bell at 308, 13. Josh Bell, a switch hitter. He's batting better than three. seven home runs. He struggled to produce as a right hand batter, but he is much improved from the right side. Except in this at bat. Walker's got that one under control. Cruz 0 for 4 last night. He punched out twice. This is way up in the air for Cattell Marte. And he's able to run that game hit streak for him. Zach Gallen had last night when he set down the first eight he faced. This is lined out to right field, and the diving attempt comes up just short for Dalton Varsho. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, most outfielders, a lot of outfielders, would continue on with the glove pointed up, trying to slide underneath the ball. The shortstop tonight. Veteran utility guy, signed with Washington. In I mean, uh, fellow outfielders know when it's going to be a tough play and when you need to get over there. Bronco not going anywhere. Runs that fastball in there and plunks him. Bronco is at second. Andreans is at first. Yeah, I mentioned Alec Thomas backing up Dalton. Every play, Absolutely. Right? 0 1. Herrera got a high fastball, chopped it up in the air to second. Marte and Perdomo calls for it. Uh, graduation day senior prom all rolled into one only there's an eight million dollar check at the end too yeah that's um I mean it's exciting it's an exciting day I'm just glad to be out here and glad to manage all of that how'd you navigate that um I pretty much stayed home and then I just hit and just made sure I just got my workouts in and that's terrific but how do you make your game your own from this point going forward um just try and be myself um obviously there's going to be a lot of but his son go I'm on the career that you're about to launch down here the next 20 30 years yeah I definitely want to be a part of um, I definitely want to be my own pretty much almost the same defensively arm wise and things of that nature well if you're going to be the same as someone defensively your yeah. dad is a good at the draft this year two and two on Cesar Hernandez got it and just uh, oh hangs on Carson Kelly hangs on and then I got to put in to get to that point but I mean to be able to be a part of this organization and oh. be able for them to help me to get to that point means a lot. Dalton Varsho. In Ballpark, Drew. It's nice. It's indoors, always helps. A little <laughs> AC, you know, but um, I mean, it's it's great. I love this ballpark. Group of young talent that they put together here. What's, what's that like for you? Um, it means a lot because this organization, obviously, it's going to improve as time goes on. And to be a part of that. Maybe every 20, 30 years, Juan Soto. I mean, he he just rakes. Uh, I mean, he's got a great swing. Uh, Aaron. It's good to see guys like that in the game today. We need young stars. So what's next for photos? We chat with Drew Jones, newest Diamondback. Fastball off the edge. This guy does not swing. Addison Bumgarner gets the strike. Well, lifts one out to short left. Here comes Peralta. And one pitch went out for Van Bum in the fourth. Bell is over. Didn't work for him since he came out of that ball game. And it, 
looking for some answers and wasn't certain about any of it. Standing starts in a row. Yeah. Broken bat roller to shortstop for Perdomo. National so far only two hits against Madbone. In him since he's been a Diamondback. It's always that talk about velocity. And it, it 40 pitches, 27 for strikes. And Franco can check up the best stuff he's had for seven years or more right now. And he's looking good tonight. Battling a form of sarcoma. And so in his cancer fight, Tori told him that he is supporting him, sending him love and all. A. Ray Adrianza leads off the Washington fifth against Madison Bumgarner. And that one is foul. Make it five. Well, Mad Bum has mentioned that he's made an extra effort trump for him. In June, Diamondbacks were shut out in four of those six starts, mm. like zero. So in the lineup, right? <laughs> Tried to change up there. No walks. He has hit a batter. He's punched out five. Make it six. Third consecutive strikeout. That base hit. One of only two hits for the Nationals. Scored on an RBI. Well, he's got a chance to. 0 2. And you notice the base coaches to let him think you're going to throw a high fastball, but Carson usually only does it when common for catchers to do that from time to time. Just don't do it too early. Nope. Trying to change up two strikes. The leadoff man Hernandez would be next. Pest here. Another 2-2. Two -two. And we'll keep going. That one got Carson. A little too far out there. Robles has hit his first time up. This is pitch number 10 his second time. And he pops him up. Foul ground first base side for Walker. Madison Bumgarner locked it. He's off the sixth. He is 0 for 2. And Bum so far has given up. Gets that cutter through the back door. And lifts this out to left for Peralta. Ten. And that's going to drop into left for a base hit for Thomas. Just the third hit for Washington as Juan Soto steps in. And so far tonight is 0 for 2. The strikeout for Soto was his first strikeout. Swinging. How about that? He struck out Soto for the set. Got to be careful with Bell. Leads the Nationals in RBIs. Bell will be 30. It's at 72 right now here in the sixth inning. 50 for strikes up the middle. Marte scoops it up. And they get the fourth. He has given up only one run on three hits, all singles. And Nelson Cruz leads off the seventh. Good curveball through 107 pitches. Well under that rate here tonight, 75 and count. Mad Bum season high for strikeouts is seen him have since then. Well, the 
was very interesting. He insisted he's got probably the best stuff he's had for seven years or more right now. And the changeup gets away. So let's see if Madbub can get a ground ball right here. There's a swing and a miss by Franco on a first pitch curveball. Jumped on a cutter, but Hook painted the outside corner at the knees. Right back to Mad Bum. Double play ball for one. And they do indeed roll it. So far, 12 have come on three or fewer pitches. He has been, as we mentioned, Ursive in the zone. That's been his theme this month. And he's on his way to his third win this month. You're ahead in the count. Uh, you've got the batter right where you want him. Oh, Mad Bum angry on, so he hit him with a pitch back in the second. Swing and a miss. Madison Bumgarner. How about that? Trace Barrera, the catcher, leads it off. This is in sharp contrast to Mad Bum. Starts were shut out. They did not score a single run for him. What a different story tonight. And Barrera. Right there, make it nine strikeout. Over eighty thousand dollars. Another big night. Robles hits a high fly ball to left field, and that one's going to go. Victor Robles, who had a bunt hit in the third, hits one out of the eighth, and it's seven to two. Walker's there. Hernandez hustles up the line. That's the second of fielder. Wondering if Thomas reaches here. It's Tori Lavello behind on Thomas 2 0. That's foul. A chance for hot plate Harrison. Like the curve. 2 2. Popped him up. Cattell Marte. Walker is there. Cattell's got it. Man.